Hey guys, welcome back to this video. In this video, we're gonna be making the Among Us series part four. Uh, we're gonna be doing a few thingies today, like making a dead body uh, function, and we're gonna make like a preset thingy so we can continue that in the next tutorial. And so, what you wanna be doing is you see this starter character, right? You wanna copy it, and then you wanna go into replicated storage, you wanna go into your folders, you wanna control D on one of them, and then just name it dead body event then afterwards delete everything inside of it then paste your uh, character into the replicated storage folder then what you want to do is instead of terse uh, sorry start a character you want to type uh, clone body then afterwards you go inside of it and you delete the body colors the humanoid and the script and that's all Then go into your workspace, go into your Among Us system, and make a new folder. Name your folder Dead Body Event. Yep. Then afterwards, what you want to be typing is insert a new script. Name this script Dead Body. Afterwards, type Game. Dot players dot player added colon connect function player player dot character added colon connect to a function of a character character dot humanoid dot died colon connect to a function of nothing just leave it blank then local color is equals to character left foot dot color local color two is, is uh, color true is because the character uh, capsule that color local clone body is equals to game dot replicated storage dot among us system dot um, dead body event dot clone body Colon clone. Actually, event dot uh, colon wait for child clone body colon clone. So you have this. If you can read it, this is going to be your script line. Alrighty, I'm gonna zoom in again because zooming in is epic. Afterwards, we're gonna type something annoying. Oh, not really. Clone body dot parent is equal to game dot workspace dot dead body event uh correction among a system dot dead body event uh clone body call set primary part c frame character call on get primary part c frame Leave it blank. Time so it's star. Um, uh, C frame dot from Euler angles x y z zero comma zero comma zero. Copy and paste this line. Yep. Before you do that, type weight zero point two. Twenty five. Sorry. I make this a character. press enter and um, simply duplicate it then instead of this 9 over here you want to make it 9d then wait dot 25 paste it again and make it 90 then for I comma for I comma V in Paris body Clone body correction get children do if v dot name is other than capsule or v dot name is other than back then v dot color is going to be the color but if the v 
if v dot name is equals to glasses v dot name is equals equals sorry then v dot color is equals to color three dot from rgb four comma hundred and seventy five comma two hundred and three yes or i comma v in paris clone body colon get children do if v dot name is um if v dot name is equals equals to capsule or v dot name is equals equals to back then v dot color is equal to color two. If v dot name is equal to equal to glasses, then v dot color is equal to color three dot from RGB for one hundred seventy five two hundred and thirty six. Uh, this should be done already. It's not. It's not hard, you know. Uh, wait, no, we're not done yet. In our main system, I prefer to make it twenty seconds. Then make this ten seconds. That that is just my suggestion. Then go into your main function handler, and instead of this, for i comma v in Paris, game of workspace that among a system dot dead body event colon get children do if v dot name is equals equals to clone body, then v dot destroy. A uh, correction v colon destroy. This should be a done already. Let's test. As you see, we're yellow. We're gonna reset. And our, um, our other like character spawned in. And as you can see, he is um, like like this. Well, I suggest you making the character um, anchored. If that's not gonna break my game. Another suggestion. Let me see. Is there a way to put it? Oh, I have an idea. If you go to your capsule and add in a click detector, add in a little script. Script the parent click detector dot mask click colon connect to the function. If nothing, well, player, uh, print player dot dot, um, reported this body. Just a little test script to know if I'm right, you know? Like, I'm not the human who knows every single thing. Alrighty, that is our little Among Us character, and we can move it. Mmm, that didn't work. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's weird. Anyways, um, what you can be doing now? Uh, let me see, uh, where is our system? Yeah, if imposter dot leader sets, that is imposter that value is equals equals to true, then game dot replicated storage Uh, no. Simply just remove the lines. Uh, let me... Oh, GUI remote event. Just keep it like that. And then make a new one and name it um, Imposter... Imposter Sabotage. Because we're going to make a... Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to make a door. And uh, the imposter can sabotage it by clicking a GUI button.
and then uh, the doors are gonna close, um, and you have like a cooldown. It's not hard. Um, game the replicated storage. Dot among a system. Dot GUI remote event. Dot imposter sabotage. Colon fire um, server. And for um, imposter. Wait, no. Uh, fire server does not really need an argument. Make a new GUI. Name it Imposter Sabotage. Is that a bit? Make a um, make a text button. Add in a UI corner. Make the button zero point five comma zero comma zero point nine comma zero. Put the anchor point at zero point five comma zero point five. D uh, name the text sabotage sabotage menu if you want you can customize it with a color I'm gonna make it red sabotage then name this the sabotage Activator. Act. Uh, activator. Uh, add in a local script. Um. Yeah. Um. Game to replicate the storage. Uh, put the invisible. Uh, put the visibility of the uh, sabotage activator to false. So, yeah, game replicated sort of among a system dot gy remote event dot um, imposter sabotage dot on server. Oh, um, yeah, I have an idea. Uh, instead of in, instead of the scripts, make a new local script. Imposter sabotage. Make a new uh, remote event and name it a uh, sabotage um, callback. Instead of this, just make it a uh, remote handler. Um, you want to type game replicate storage dot among a system dot um, remote event dot imposter sabotage dot on. Wait, am I doing it wrong again? Wait, can a module script fire from the client? They can. Okay, fire client, um, imposter. Uh, yeah. So now we don't need this uh, remote handler. Remove the imposter sabotage callback. Just click on it and press back, please. Anyways, uh, go into our local script and name it handler. Put on client event, call on connect to a function of nothing. Mm, simply just type script dot parent dot sabotage activator dot visible is true. We're gonna first of all test this out. Let's wait. In the meantime, we're just gonna die. Oof. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Anyways, let's wait. Five, four, three, two, one. And. Yep. Choosing imposter. You are an imposter and then sabotage. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is. I'm gonna make it a little bit up. So instead of. A nine make it 85 and we also want to do is go into your um, mm, yeah 
So over here, you want to do wait 5 seconds, because over here we're also waiting 5 seconds. Then, you actually need a callback. So, impos um, well, disable sabotage. Go into your handler. Game to replicate a search at among a system that you are mode event dot uh, disable sabotage dot on client event colon connect to a function of um, nothing. And just type um, script dot parent dot sabotage activator dot visible secret to false. Because what we're going to be doing now is um, that over here. Look, if round over, then game or replicate a search on among a system that GUI remote event the disable sabotage call on fire client or fire all clients imposter. Because what this oh hehe <laughs> Um Oh god. Um uh, let's just try this. Okay. Well let's try. Well successfully loaded in. Run something fourteen. Let's just wait. Choosing imposter, you're an imposter, and then once we get teleported, we're gonna get the sabotage menu. Then let's wait for ten seconds. Two, one, zero, boom. And then once the round ended, as you see, our um, sabotage menu is gone, our knife is gone, and no errors, Le legit none. So that is super duper cool. Wait, what I'm doing now is going to our main system, and then over here, wait five seconds. Uh, no, I mean not that, but instead, uh, just remove the print because you don't need them. Uh, then what you can do is we can just make a little GUI, I believe. Let me think, in Among Us, if you close a door, the door just gets, does it slide or just automatically appear? I believe appear. So what you can do now is insert a frame and make a UI kerner. He he he. Um, I'm gonna make a 0 0.5. 0 0.5, just put it in the middle. Script dot parent dot sabotage activator dot um, mouse button one click click connect to a function of nothing. Um, yeah, if script dot parent dot frame dot visible is equals equals to true, then script. Wait, no, that 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 is a old way. So you can just do uh, script dot parent dot frame dot visible is equals to not. For a script the parent that frame not visible. I forgot that uh, way, so um, apologies. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. So let's test this out once again. Oops, my bad. This frame has to be visible off. Oh yay, we're orange. Pew, poof. K. 
can we die one more time? No, we're not gonna, we're gonna run out of time. Anyway, let's see. You're choosing imposter. You are an imposter. Round ending in, yep, okay, we got a little bit of time. Yep, as you click on a sabotage, you get the menu. Um, yeah, we're gonna add in a little debounce. Look what debounce is to true. Copy this line, delete it. Debounce, uh, no. If debounce equals x to true, then debounce equals to false. Based in that line, wait two seconds and debounce equals to true. So now you are added in a little bit of cooldown because um, if someone tries to break your game, they can't. Can we dance? <laughs> okay, that is pretty cool. Okay, choosing imposter, you're an imposter, of course. Yay. Anyways, uh, let's see. Sabotage. Yep, and as you can see, we get a cooldown. As you can see, I'm spamming it. Like. And it has a cooldown. For the last thing of this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is close everything up. And instead of the spawn location, uh, teleport spawn, yeah, add in an actual spawn location. The spawn location, delete the decal and the wills, if there's one. Make the transparency one, and simply move this to over here. Um, go into your teleport back, copy the position, go into your spawn location, and uh, paste that in. For the last actual thing, we're gonna test this game one more time, and then let's see. Okay, we spawn correctly. Uh, if we die, uh, for I okay, we're gonna do one more thing. I'm sorry. If you reset, we get the character, and we can just simply delete it. Uh, inside of the yeah, you wanna make another folder, and make it a scripts. And add in a normal script and just name it module handler game dot player the player added comma connect to a function of a player. <coughs> Sorry. Um player that character added comma connect to a function of nothing. Well char um char the parent is uh, well, okay, while true do, wait, uh, five seconds, well, two, one second, uh, keep in mind, this is not going to break your game, make it five, make it one second, well, 2.5, over here, type, char dot parent is equals to game dot workspace dot among us system dot dead body event, uh, no, 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 of course not, you want to make yeah, over here you want to make a um, player list folder, a player list. Oh, hold on, wait for child player list. And you are done with your scripts. If you want to look at it, this is your script. Let's play the game. If we go into workspace, we go into Among Us system, and we go into player list, we're going to see our own character. Um, so yeah, that is pretty good. Sorry, this is exactly what we want. Okay, we're gonna test it one more time. As you can see, no errors. This is a, uh, thing I bought. Choosing imposter, you're an imposter. And then, round ending, and you can sabotage things in the next tutorial. If you enjoyed this part, don't forget to like and subscribe, and um, special thanks to my friend Polaris Frog. He is a um, pretty good friend, he's awesome, and I got inspired by him, go subscribe to him too, not hard, Polaris Frog, okay, level like like this, like, Polar is, Polar is Frog, like, 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 like this, okay, like that, okay, well, if you enjoyed this tutorial, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.
Bye-bye.